morning youtubers thank you so much for joining me so yes the video you guys have all been waiting for is finally here we are going to clean our inventories together and I'm gonna teach you a few basics that might make things easier um, we all organize our inventory in different ways I'm not saying mine is perfect but this does make it a lot easier to find things with the certain kind of folders and subfolders that I am going to have you create and definitely you know give me feedback tell me if this is an easier way for you or if you would like me to expand on a certain part and then we can definitely go over that so we're going to start off with just kind of taking a look at what my inventory looks like right now and then we'll kind of open the folders and see what's going on so right now I do have two inventories open so that I can slide from one inventory to the next so of course we have our regular folders that are always set here you know the animation body parts calling cards things like that those are here so underneath the trash is where my personal folders start that I've created and anything that I've bought of course it ends up here whatever you unpack also ends up here okay so since I have bought the Cooper body I did go ahead and make a whole entire separate section for just the clothes for that body okay so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at just that section so here as you can see I do use exclamation points to pull my inventory folders to the top underneath the trash folder so the more exclamation points you use uh, that is the one that would be at the top so this one has one two three four five six. so this one has seven exclamation points and then these underneath have four so whatever is more important to you definitely if you want to see it first when you're scrolling you're gonna wanna put more exclamation points, okay? And I'll kinda go over the hashtags, exclamation points, and why I do that in my inventory as well. So if we expand this Anithium Cooper wardrobe folder, in here you'll see again, I've done the exclamation point because these I need to be at the top. This is the Cooper Close Alphas. And then this is the basic clothes that I got originally with the Cooper body. Um, I do not wear these a lot. I probably should because these are actually really nice clothes. But I really don't, to be totally honest. So here, as you can see, so when I told you guys in the Awful Alpha video about the LBD um, alpha kit that was on marketplace for one linden I do have those in here as well and then these are alphas that I've gotten from a few people or they've been resent out with the clothing and then this is the template for creating alphas so if I want to create my own alpha this is what my top and bottom template starts off as okay so also when I used to wear slink it also came that body came with its own separate alpha pack so I also have this in here and as you can see I'm wearing the slink basic alpha mini skirt and then I'm wearing the LBD short sleeve stop alpha because I may have to try some things on in my inventory to figure out where they go and I definitely don't want to you know have any kind of body part popping out and then this video can't be uploaded okay so I do need to organize my inventory. I usually keep it quite clean, but you know, life has kind of gotten away from me, you know, starting my real life job. So I do have quite a few things to organize. So I'm gonna show you the main folders that we're gonna concentrate on today. So when you're organizing your inventory, you have to get a mindset of which one you want to drag to and which one is your try on expandable one. So usually I drag to the left inventory window, so I don't open any of this over here at all. This on the right is what I'm going to open and look through. Try on, this side is gonna look a mess. This side, I want it to always stay neat, so I'm not gonna touch anything over here. Um, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I do get kind of confused, and then I may open something on here on accident, and then I have to go to edit, close all folders, 
and then start again. Okay. But I'm definitely going to try and not do that this time. So let's go over a few of the other folders that I have. So I have the Anithrum Cooper wardrobe. I have wardrobe accessories. The Anithrum Cooper wardrobe shoes. Landmarks for the Cooper body. Um, any kind of body lights and projectors. Costume attachments. The hair, the jewelry, makeup. And then this is where things get kind of out of control. So this says all of this needs organizing. So things that I've gotten and unpacked, I've dragged into this folder. So if I open this folder up, as you can see, this is a lot of things from Christmas, Halloween. Um, when I did the Halloween uh, Second Life free gifts, it was, I think, eight, eight or nine Sims. And I went to all of them and I got all of the free stuff and I just threw it all in here and I totally forgot about it. And as you can see, um, I also went and did Apple Falls um, Hunt where things in there were free and you had to go through each room and click everything. And I just went insane. I got so much stuff. As you can see, it's a ton of stuff in here. So we'll definitely put things where it's supposed to go. I don't want this to be a super long video. I mostly just want you to kind of get the gist of what I'm doing to keep my organized, neat and clean when I want to find something immediately so that I'm not hunting and taking hours and hours and hours to get dressed. That annoys me. That's something I don't want to do. If someone, you know, wants me to come to their event or they want to come to their function, I want to be able to find what I need quickly because I know I have it in my inventory and then get there on time and not get there and it's like five minutes left. I had had that happen to me and <laughs> I was like no wait, let's get this together okay so I'm gonna close that one up um there's just a couple things in here that are just randoms but I always do put my um wherever I stay I put that as a whole separate informational folder and then the jobs that I work I also put those folders here as well so as you can see, these have hashtags. So these have hashtags because these are other subfolders that are important in my inventory, but I want the Anithium and my wardrobe to stay at the top. So underneath here, I have my Tinder Tings folder. I have add-on components, which is all my food and drink. So that's also separated. We'll go over that as well. And then these are fun add-ons and extras. So it's things like cigarettes, um, a finger monkey, a magic wand, anything that's to accessorize, you know, and build on my outfit, that would be in here. So these two go kind of coincide with each other. So that's why I named them add-on components because I want them to always be next to each other. Okay, um, I have my animals folder here. So we all know Gian has a lot of the 60 Linden sales. So when I do go over there, you know, I grab the little, you know, like I have a lion cub here, a Jack Russell, bunnies, um, turkeys, and then my bio breeds are here as well for my animals. So I really, this folder, remember when I told you guys that I love me some food for kitchen counters and givers and things like that? This is the food folder for my kitchen. So this says food for kitchen counters, 369 items. Um, again, this is always out of control. And I bought some more stuff from junk food the other day and I really need to stay out of that store. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this one just so you can kind of see what I have. So this I will eventually organize more in depth. Right now it's all just in here, but I do have it as Asian cuisine the store disorderly, dust bunny, junk food, luck. So as you can see, these are the only ones that have hashtags because these are pretty much combined as far as the stores. So this is all of disorderly. This is all dust bunny, junk food, and look. So as you can see, I do have a lot of um, dust bunny things down here. So that's why this one does need to be organized as well. But all of my bento servers are here and different things to put on the counter. So I have fruit baskets, I have cakes, I have um, all kinds of things. Homemade apple cider, um, hot tidy, um, fast food I also have as well. So see, this needs to be dragged into the junk food folder. So I'll do that as well. Okay, um, all of my furniture is here. So... The only one that has the exclamation points are Moth and Mink because this is a whole entire set that I got from Agacha. So I want to keep that one separate. Because
because um, eventually I'll put a lot of these on the marketplace that I have extras for and I'll keep my own set in my inventory together. But these are my backdrops, you know, anything that goes with the bathroom, bedroom sets, separate beds, chairs, my closets, my computer items. This is the decor. I'm going to throw that one down so you can kind of take a look at what those subfolders are. So this is bathroom decor, bedroom decor, books and magazines, candles, clutter, curtains, dining room, holidays, kitchen, living room, photos, wall decor, and then a couple other things that are just thrown in here that need to be organized as well. So even inside of these, sometimes I have to organize it a little further depending on what all is in here. Right now, this is just, you know, just the regular things that are in here. So like, you know, books and magazines, magazines, a sketchbook, newspapers, um, just a lot of decor as far as sitting around, you know, magazines and books. Um, I have clutter. So this would be things like um, these are euros, coins. This is an actual bag of trash. Like when you take out to the garbage man, this is an actual bag of trash. Um, some other things in here are I went and got the clothes that you can just put around the house to make it look more livable. You know, like you just threw off your shirt and, you know, it just landed on the floor and you forgot about it. So I like my house to be pretty much a role play atmosphere so that when I have my friends over or, you know, the people that I have living with me, I'll be like, hey, you know, your room is really messy. You know, I'm not going in there. All these clothes are over the floor. So I do put those things down and I just make it movable for them in case they want to put it in a pile or, you know, throw it somewhere else in their room. OK, uh, we have the dining room. I have fireplaces, hallway addition. I do have a holiday folder here as well. Kitchen lamp and lights, living room, living room sets, outdoor decor, paintings, pillows, plants, pool things, rugs, shelves and bookcases. And it just kind of goes down the line with things that I need to organize into my furniture folder. Okay. Um, this one, the game experiences and fun. This is when I do like my mad P games and things like that. So all of my HUDs for that would be in here. Okay. Um, homes any homes that i bought they're all in here any kind of landscaping things are in here so like slabs textures fences walls uh, my land security orb you know anything for landscaping that's in there vehicles that i bought throughout my time in second life so i have cars motorcycles suv um, water vehicles and then these are a couple of other things that i need to put into these folders so for me, the object is to literally have just my folders with the hashtag and have none of these just drifting along outside of these um, categories. So these are going to be your subcategories underneath your main one. So we know we have vehicles in here, but we also have these subcategories and all of these need to be put in the correct place. Okay. And so now, usually um all of this in between here wouldn't be here so my inventory usually stops about here and then the only other folders that i do have as you can see i have put the letter z a dash and then these are the items that i always want at the bottom so the bu items are always down here baby booming and then these are my collapsed old folders for the old bodies i was wearing so I took all of my old bodies and heads and I dragged them into this folder I created so that it stays at the bottom since I'm now Cupra. So when you open this folder, you have the body. So I have the Belisa, Maitreya, um, the hood for that, and then my slink. And then I have the Catway head, uh, my, uh, these are just other little heads that I bought throughout the years. Okay, and then this is the old wardrobe. So the only thing left in here is things that I cannot uh, wear with the Cupra. So these are like clothes that do not fit the body. So these are these fit all the other bodies, but it does not fit the Cooper body. So all of these are in their own little section and things that um, I couldn't wear. That's where they are. So as far as the accessories go, the only thing that's here is like a, a couple garters and some socks and those also don't fit the body. And then what I did with my shoes, I did sit down a full day and I went through all of my shoes 
and I took out the slink set and made a new folder with the name and I put them up into this folder here which is my Anith and Cooper wardrobe shoes so this is all my Garbaggio shoes because it's a ton of them and they need their own folder and then these are my subfolders for all of my other shoes so if we go into heels as you can see I have in Corey here so only thing is in here is the slink if we go in Eva slink the Mila shoes slink okay so newer shoes that I've been buying um, I haven't been separating them so I just recently you know went to Goss and got their pump so all of them are in here so these I won't separate um, I do prefer to wear the slink shoe on the anithium body because I don't have to do a lot of modifications to my feet so that's why I wear that and to be totally honest I haven't really bought a lot of shoes that are just for this body um, I kept all of my old shoes and I probably bought maybe two pairs of shoes that came out just for this body so we all know I bought the Remizo gold heels and then I bought some boots that were just for this body because all of my boots from all of my old bodies those will not fit because this is a thicker body and you can't alpha out the boot layer at all so I would have to buy more boots for this body okay so that's really an overview as far as like how my folders are in here so we're actually going to organize a few things because it's just i don't know when my inventory got this out of control so usually these folders always stay organized for me um my animations i usually just throw these in here the only thing i'm super concerned about is my actual ao that's for my body so I have my runs here, my sits, my stands, my swims, my turns, my typing, and my walks. Okay, so those are the things that I'm mostly concerned about in here. If I need to do, you know, poses or anything like that, I have a folder that says poses for photos, poses for backdrop, and then these are pose balls that you have to actually actually pull out of your inventory and drag out. So it would have to be a place where you can um, put objects down. And then these are a couple of other poses that I've gotten over time that are gifts or they're from the 60 Linden sale. So, you know, if I double click that, then, you know, that's a pose. So those eventually will get put where they need to get put. And all of these are new. So I have to put those into the AO section of what type of pose it is, whether it's a stand, a sit, a walk, things like that. Okay, so gonna go ahead and empty this because I always empty my trash it's I'm constantly emptying my trash if I ever see an arrow next to this I will empty it um, it's rare I look in it because I don't I don't really put no copy items in here and anything that I do put in the trash usually it's it's trash you know if I'm deleting things out if in world when I'm decorating and things like that all of that is copyable so um, the only time I search my trash is if I move into a new home, you know, and I've taken like the food because some of my food is no copy because it's a lot of gotchas. And then I'll just check and just make sure. So like I said, this side, we aren't going to touch. This is the side that we're going to drag to and figure out where things go. This side is the chaotic inventory window. Okay. So I wanted to go ahead and start with the folder that says all of this needs organizing but in reality what I need to start with is all of these little things that's just hanging out here so that I can get my scroll bar to be back a little smaller so when I do my inventory my object is to not have this thing super tiny and scroll in for days so as you can see I only have to scroll about one two three you know three little scrolls to get through my whole entire inventory I know some of you are scrolling forever and ever and ever and I definitely want to help you prevent that because that can get overwhelming and that's when people are telling me oh I'm so much in my inventory you know I'm scrolling I can't find anything so today hopefully we can prevent that from happening and you can also go through delete things that you don't need or don't want and then you can find everything you need when it's time for you to go party and it's not sitting around for hours on end trying to find that one outfit that you know you bought yesterday and now it's lost in your madness of an inventory 
Okay, so I am going to go ahead and start off with these little things that are hanging out. So I know from here to here, this stuff is not in the folders it's supposed to be in. Because I know that usually my RLV folder starts and then we go down here to the Z. Um, this one also, I'm going to actually throw that into there. So this is a section that I've just been buying things and, you know, I don't know. So these demos, I know that I want to either purchase or try on. So I do have a folder that says demos I may want to purchase. So I'm going to throw those in there. Okay. Um, this is another AO that I purchased because I wanted to see what animations were in there. So maybe I could put some of those in my current one. So I'm just going to throw that into the animations folder. Because I know I'll come back to that. Okay. Um, this is a Christmas bodysuit gift. Um, this one is from Muggles. So uh, let me see. Hopefully nothing crazy pops up on here. Okay, no. So this is going to be the bodysuit that was the gift. So I know that this is a Cooper outfit. So I'm going to go to the Cooper wardrobe. And then that's a Christmas outfit. So currently I don't have a folder for holiday in Cooper because since the body is new, not a lot of things have come out as far as holiday wear until Christmas came rolling around. So I'm going to put the hashtag and I'm going to put holiday. That's going to go to where it's supposed to. And then we're going to drag this here and then we're going to close that up. Okay, um, this, I have no idea what this is, so um, let's go ahead and, hold on, let me get out of D&D &D for a second. Okay, we're going to keep that, and so everyone needs to get into the habit of, as soon as you unpack something, go right back to that folder and delete that unpacker. There's so many people I come across and when I do their inventories for them, they have multiples and so many um, extras of the same outfit because they've been unpacking it so many times because they have the packer still in their inventory. So get into a habit of even when you're out shopping, open it up right there, unpack it and at least delete the package so you know that you've unpacked it. Because once you unpack it, it's going to go down here in your inventory. It's gonna end up down here somewhere, you know, that you've unpacked it, but at least you won't have that box in your inventory. So you're, that's your box. That's your box that you came home with. You needed to unpack it and hang it up in your closet. Your inventory is pretty much your closet. So get that box out of there. You don't need that box anymore. Okay. Uh, this here, let's see, this is a tattoo layer of a Halloween <laughs> skull that's for like, um, when you do costumes. So anytime for me, something is a tattoo, um, in my body parts section, I do have a tattoo, uh, section here. So I do just throw all of my tattoos in here eventually. Um, that will also be sectioned off. Okay, and we'll revisit the body parts as well because I do utilize the system folders for certain things too. Okay, um, I'm not going to open the objects folder because I'm scared. I don't know. I think there's a ton of stuff in there too. So we'll come back to that as well. Okay, so moving on down, here we have um, this is extreme soapy soap so i recently unpacked a gift that bu had given me so all of my stuff as you guys remember bu is in a z folder so i have something here that says toiletries so i'm gonna grab this move this over and close that folder up okay um this is when i traveled to um the aquarium for boy this is um, a folder that stays in here as well so for me to know that i don't need to ever move that one i'm gonna just put a hashtag and keep that there and it goes into its own section as i said these are the demos i want to purchase maybe so that one i actually want that one to go to the top so one two three four five six and see it pops up underneath the one with the seven okay 
So let me put this base. All right. So now, um, as you can see, we've unboxed this Cupra Divine set. So um, I actually don't know what this is. So I'm going to take the boots off and it says heal. So I'm going to add that. And then let me get my, hold on, let me get my hood back on the screen. And a lot of times if I don't want my hood seen and they're in the way, I do throw them off of my display area. Cause you can do that. Like you're able to put this out of here, close it and it disappears. Okay. And then to grab it back, just scroll your mouse. It'll pop up and then you can put it back in your display interface. And then there it is. Okay, so here we have the HUD. Uh, looks like I need to have high feet on. There we go. Okay. And then let's add the other part. So this says bottoms and a top. So we'll wait for those to come on and we'll see. Okay, so that's this outfit. Okay, so for me, this will be a full outfit and for me, it will be a pan outfit. So I will go over here to the Anithian Cooper wardrobe. And then as you can see, I have a folder that says complete outfits. And I will drag this into that section. Okay, so let's pause here and take a look at the folders that I have for the actual wardrobe section of my body. So this is literally the only folder that contains every single bit of all the clothing that I wear on this body. As you can see, it's 1345 items. So as like I said, I have my alphas, um, those clothes. So I have a BDSM folder for more risky items. And then I have a bomb underwear folder. So these are going to be the system layers and, you know, the tattoo layers of pasties, bomb panties that I want to go underneath here. So let's just say I accidentally took this off and I had this on, there would be no problem. So sometimes I wear these all the time with my body because I'm able to layer that on and it won't show through the clothing. I have a complete outfit section. So the Mangula is its own whole outfit by itself. So that's why it has the exclamation points. I have pants outfit, short outfit, skirts, and then I have a few things here. As you can see, I put the divine set in here. As I said, that's gonna be a complete pant outfit for me. So I'm gonna drag it up there. Um, this is the memoir outfit. These are shorts. So I'm gonna grab these and put them in the shorts outfit section. And then um, this is a t-shirt dress with boots. The reason this one is in here is because this is a whole outfit. It's a dress with some shoes. So this one is just kind of hanging out here so that I can see it and I don't get it mixed up in here, okay? Because I really don't have any outfits that say dress outfits and it's kind of rare that it would be a dress that comes with boots or things like that. So Thick Society gave us a t-shirt dress with the boots. So I'm gonna leave that out there for its own purposes. Okay, and of course I have dresses. All of my dresses for Cooper are in here. Um, eventually this will get broken down as well into a uh, formal, um, short dresses, risky dresses, and ballroom gowns. So those are some other folders that I do incorporate into the wardrobe. So let me just see. So if you go back to my old wardrobe section, which is this, and I expand on the dresses, as you can see, these are broken down into cocktail dresses, which are only black. There's gowns, long dresses, long sleeve dresses, short dresses, risky and flashy dresses, strapless dresses, and sundresses, which are usually strappy as well. Okay, so these are the subfolders that eventually will work their way into Cupra. I don't have a lot of clothing that's dresses for Cupra yet. I haven't created those subfolders. But eventually in the dress folder for Cupra, it will have these same subfolders. So this is kind of like my basis for what I want to put for this body because when you buy clothes, it's usually going to be the same thing. You're going to have shirts, you're going to have pants, you're going to have dresses, you're going to have jeans, and you're going to have all kinds of tops. 
so you're definitely going to want to break those down so if you want to wear a winter outfit you want it to say long sleeve or it's a sweater or things like that okay so i also go to the this right here says top single so these are single tops they don't go with anything this is just if i want to throw something on with a pair of jeans when i had my old wardrobe so like see i have crop tops here halters long sleeves short sleeves sweaters and then there's just a couple hanging out in here that i haven't put where they need to go okay so let's go back up we're gonna go ahead like i said and close this section down because it's gonna always be our neat one and this one is going to be the one where we kind of just are looking all over the place and seeing what we're gonna put over here okay so this here let's see this is a vanity for a bathroom so i'm gonna go over here to my furniture section and then i'm gonna see so in here i also have a folder that says bathroom accessories so see this says a vanity skincare set um a makeup set these here are gotchas so this is a gotcha and this one here so these are things that go on top of the counters and things like that just for decor only in the bathroom so i'm going to take the vanity and i'm going to throw it into the bathroom section okay and it's in there okay i'm gonna close that up um, the marketplace listing folder that's always there and then here's another demo gown that i may purchase so i'm just going to drag that up into the demos i may want to purchase folder okay so see now we have the basis of what our whole entire inventory is so there should be no random clothing hanging out out here so like i said here's my rlv the system folder for marketplace and then here starts my z's like i told you guys before so let's work on the folder that says <laughs> all of this needs organizing so i'm going to scroll this all the way up here to where that's where the start of the folder is and then we have let me empty that okay and then we have our folder here so this looks a little chaotic and this is a lot to move and organize so i'm going to do a few things here and then we'll talk about a couple other things okay so let's start with the first one as you can see it already says epic halloween shop and hop kit box three items so this is going to end up in some holiday section of the inventory so i don't know what this is so I'm going to go ahead and add it and see what it is. So looks like it is some type of candy that goes into the mouth. Hold on, let me get my, um, let me get this. Put this over here. Okay, so, oh, <laughs> looks like it's a um, candy corn fairy that I am chewing on. I'm going to take that out so for me that's going to be a add-on component and then we have our fun things and extras so we just have to decide which one we want to put that in usually if it's things that go in my mouth or that i can eat or drink i will put it in the food and drink section so i'll know it's something i can either drink eat or chew on and it'll be in my mouth so in here we don't have like i said a holiday section so we're going to go ahead and make a new folder and make it the holiday section. So I'm going to drag this to here and close that up. All right, next is going to be this gift. Uh, I don't know where I got that from either. Uh, looks like a lot of this is from Halloween and then I have a couple of Christmas things in here. So the first section looks like it's going to be a lot of holiday organization. So we're going to go ahead and put these things on. What is this? Okay. Okay, so that's going to have to be... Okay, so here's a blood bag. Uh, let's see. Okay, so that looks like something for the mouth. Let's see, a candy apple. 
Okay, so I'm going to put on this whole thing. So let me take a look, see here. Because this is a whole gift section. And sometimes I have to take some of these out and put them somewhere else. So let's see what all this is. Okay, and yes, I'm putting everything on on purpose because I want to see what every single thing is. All right, so here it looks like we've got quite a few different things. These are a lot of attachments. And for me, I consider this to be a whole entire fun section of things to put on the avatar. So what I'm gonna wanna do though, let's see. I'm still going to unpack this one. So once I pull that out, like I said, get that box out of your closet. Okay, we're gonna open this up. We're gonna copy this and then we get to see what that looks like. Okay, so it looks like that that's gonna be a choker. So we can also put that where it goes. Okay. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to take off all of this okay and then we're going to decide are we going to put it on the add-on components or fun things and extras so for me since it's so much i'm going to put it in the fun things and extras folder okay right now my fun things folder is a little crazy but that will get organized on another day so remember, we just got this necklace, this choker. So we're gonna go here, it's here. Okay, so since we know that that's a choker, we're gonna go to our accessories. No, 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 hold on. Okay, so our jewelry section has bracelets, earrings, necklaces, piercings, rings, the complete sets, and then a couple of random things here as well. So when we go to necklaces, this is where I would put the choker. And then I'm going to drag that over. So as I told you before, mostly there will be subfolders, but I don't have a lot in here. So for necklaces, I would probably put just a sub necklace folder and then a choker folder. So I know the difference with them. But majority of the time, my necklaces just stay just to themselves. I don't wear a lot of jewelry on my avatar. And then when I find things I like, I mostly just wear those all the time. Okay, so we're going to go back to the inventory folder. Go ahead and empty that right and we're back at the main section so this says here it looks like a okay so we have a texture so if you have textures whatever you know what you buy it's really good because you get to see what it is and you don't even have to put it on so these say some cozy deer tumblers and they are wearable so we already know that that's going to go into the food and drink section that's holdables Okay, so we're going to put that in the holiday section, though, because it is for Christmas. Okay, so this is confetti. So this would be part of the decor section for me. So I can use this confetti anywhere. So more than likely when I go to the furniture, I'll go to decor and I can either put it in the holiday or I can just drag it in here. So for the confetti, because I like to decorate certain things, I'm just going to throw it in there. I might put it in the subfolder later on. Who knows? Close that up. So here we are back here. So I'm not going to talk about that one. But that is decor and it's holiday decor. So we'll go back to our furniture section and go to decor. And we're going to put that into the holiday section okay so here this looks like another muggle born gift that i had clicked on when i went to their store okay so i honestly don't know what this is so okay they're tassels so for this one that's going to be in our wardrobe because it's going to be something we'll wear so I'll go over here to the wardrobe 
and then as you can see here's the holiday section and we'll throw that right in there okay all right looks like these are some ears and then we have some socks okay and I don't see let's see okay so so this one is only for the bottom part of the avatar okay let's go ahead and get that out of here so uh, let me take off those shoes Where are the shoes? Wardrobe. Okay, here we go. Take these off. Okay. Let's go back to the inventory. And these look like they're gonna be some socks. Okay, yeah, so these are some really cute socks and they come with like a little piece on top. Okay, so we'll go ahead and remove that and then we'll go back to the holiday section so at this point now I have outfits and I have tassels and now I have socks so for the holiday section now I need to start making folders so now this one I'm gonna put um, socks and then usually you get stockings into the same folder and then I'm gonna make a new folder that says Christmas attire and then I'm gonna make another one that says Christmas accessories so this one which is the tassels that would be an accessory to my Christmas things and then since this one is actually clothing I'm just gonna throw that in the attire folder so literally under the holiday folder for Cupra these are the only three folders more than likely I'm ever gonna have just accessories to add on to the holiday outfit the actual clothing part of this holiday subfolder and then socks and stockings So these are the only three folders that I would ever have more than likely in the holiday section for Cupra. So I would literally just have the accessories folder to, you know, accessorize any kind of holiday attire that I have and then socks and stockings. So that's literally, you know, the full body thing. So that's tops and bottoms. And then this is, you know, your footwear. And then these are accessories. So this one is going to be see holiday and we'll drag these over into here so another thing that I do kind of want to make you aware of we've been putting things over here this one does say a bodysuit and then this see how this says Christmas gift 2 and Christmas gift 3 when you go back to your inventory you're not gonna know what on earth that is so usually I will rename this and I'll just put in here tinsel tassels so now when I go in there, if there's other items that are added to that folder, I will know what that is. And then this one here, this one I'm going to rename to Elfie Socks, because that's usually the basis of what that really is. Okay, so we'll go ahead and close that up and then we'll close up the wardrobe folder. So here's something else. Okay, uh, looks like Elf Pot. I don't know what that is either. Let's look at the advertisement. Okay, so these are Elfie socks and these are land impacts. So this is holiday decor. So we're gonna go to our furniture folder, go down to the holiday section and I'm gonna drag this in here. Okay, so let's take a pause because I know probably some of you are looking like, oh my God, that holiday folder for furniture is out of control. How on earth does she decorate and find where anything is? So let's do a couple things with this folder that you would pretty much apply to any other folder, just like we did with the holiday folder for the Cooper wardrobe. So since I now have quite a bit of things in here, when you're in a holiday folder, of course, you know what the holidays are. So we're gonna put Christmas 
we're gonna make another folder uh halloween uh another holiday that we decorate for is thanksgiving slash fall uh what other holidays are the christmas halloween thanksgiving mm, that's all i can think of right now i don't really be worried about holidays so see here how it says christmas gift again so i am going to rename that to elf shoes decor okay so now this one would be christmas this one seems like it's got pumpkins and things like that in there so that's going to be halloween and see this is october decorative so it's a mirror and a shelf so halloween and then you can kind of as you can see you can pretty much tell this is um i went to an event and all of this is halloween stuff so i'll put it in here okay mint jars for fall so that's going to go in thanksgiving a ghost that's going to go in halloween um look hollows music that's again halloween uh let's see all right so this also looks like halloween decor we're gonna put that in there this is fall decor and like you, you just keep going down the list so what's gonna happen is we're gonna put all of these where they go so see this says pumpkin chair looks like i've got a double uh oh so i'm gonna delete one of those and then i'll go ahead and drag that up it's halloween okay so uh for what's next see since there's so much of this i'm more than likely going to make it its own folder so when i make stores i put those as like three close exclamation points right together in the subfolder and then i name it exactly how it's named in the inventory so what next and see that pops at the top so i'm gonna grab all of this and throw it in here and we've taken out a really good chunk of this this folder this holiday folder okay so this says halloween and if you want to go through see how this says fall we're going to go ahead and put all this into fall uh autumn that's going to be a fall item uh let's see the jack-o-lantern look haunted places this one's going to go into halloween um autumn autumn that's going to be fall uh spirit board is going to be halloween pumpkin things that's going to be halloween uh plastic wrap body bag yeah that's definitely going to be halloween okay another halloween themed piece of item and then this is halloween foil balloons okay these are harvest pumpkins so i would put those into the fall one and then this i honestly don't know what that is so it does have a picture okay so as you can see that's going to be a skull dome so then we're going to throw that into halloween and then this mad p alien autopsy and then this carnival sign both of those i got during the halloween season so i'm going to put those in there and then this is going to be renamed so let's see what this is let's drag this out it says paper whites december group gift okay and then we have C table group gift and then tray of bells let's see what that's looking like okay so let's zoom this okay. so as far as this goes that that actually looks like a easterish type of um my goodness okay so that looks like something kind of easterish so we can just go ahead and make a new folder and we'll put easter a lot of the times um we do decorate for easter and put out the eggs and have the the hunts and things like that so for this one i'm gonna rename that easter table and decor so i'll remember that that cute little flower was out there and boom 
we're done with the holiday section of the furniture see perfect so we're going to close that up we're going to empty the trash so we don't get confused with any of that and here we are over here again so here we are with christmas um this i believe i don't want to show the picture because i believe that this is a piercing that goes on the breast and i think the ad was very provocative so i'm just going to go over here to the cooper wardrobe again go to the holiday section and that would be again the accessories so i'm renaming this one and i'm going to put nipple piercing and i'm going to put candy cane because i believe that's what it is definitely when you're in your inventory take a look at your textures to see what they are so you can avoid putting them on and go ahead and put that in accessories okay so this says a hand ornament there is no um texture but these i remember that i got these at a halloween type ish event so these are sykes and they're for the grim reaper so that for me in my inventory it does differ on what you want to do i have a whole entire costume folder and as you can see it's a lot going on in here this one eventually also needs to be organized because i have dragged like a couple things from my old inventory into this one because you can accessorize your cooper body even if you can't wear the whole entire costume a lot of accessories you can edit them and move them around so you can still attach those to your cooper body even if that's not the outfit that it came with so see like this right here says scandalize thong top things like that and then it says the wings so i already know the cooper body is not in here for me to wear but it does have these wonderful wings that i can still put on the cooper body and wear a whole entire differently out you know different outfit if that ever pops onto the body <laughs> we'll see um let me try on that again but this I'm going to go ahead and put into um, this costume section. Okay, and there are the wings on the Cooper body. I didn't use any of the other parts, but I was able to use the wing. So that's why there is a costume accessories and costume section in the wardrobe for Cooper. Okay. So this is my costume section and that definitely needs to be organized so see how i have just folders in here this one says halloween and i started but i don't think i finished no idea what i was doing but definitely this is all of my costumes and accessories so see this here says costume accessories here so actually in actuality those sites should have went in here because that's an accessory so i do need to go through this and more than likely that um the outfit that we're wearing uh what where, where, where we get that y'all okay so i know this may not be something anyone wants to do but since i am the anything cooper body i don't plan on changing this body so in all actuality i would take all of this out because i can't wear any of that and i would delete it and I would drag, I would rename this uh, to Black Wings. And then I would put this into the accessories folder. And there's pink ones, there's red ones and white ones. So those will all get done the same way. So see this costume part says Sexy Angel. And that whole folder would get, I would drag that into here. I would put this one back and so then I would have to go through and take out all of this section and there we have it so now I have this sexy angel section because that's a costume that you know on Valentine's Day we're all wanting to look like Victoria's Secret models and you know they have all these events at the club so I literally I can now right click 
and you know attach this whole folder without attaching a whole entire ensemble of clothing that doesn't fit the Cooper body. Okay. And now that all this is in the trash, we're going to go ahead and delete it. And if ever you switch bodies or go back or anything like that, um, since we have that folder in there, we know that we can get a redelivery because the name of that folder is there. So you can definitely do that if you want. But you don't have to delete all of those in the folder. That's just me because I don't like a big number. As you can see, I only have 19,451 elements in my inventory. That number is going to increase with unpacking and then decrease with the um, what I just showed you, depending on what it is. Okay, so here we have some swords, some blades, a jiggly frog. So swords and things like that. So right now, since I'm not organizing this costume folder, that's what this would be. Anything that's an add-on to an outfit for me that is out of the norm, like swords and blades, you don't wear that on a daily basis. So that goes in the costume folder, okay? Um, jiggly frog. I think this may be a shirt. <laughs> We're gonna put it on. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so I went to Musu and I got this big suit. And let's actually, let's see. Okay, so something like this for me is a fun add on. So when we go down here to the fun things and extras folder, that would go in here. And this folder also needs to be put into subfolders for what these items are. But that will be another day, not today. So here I have, it looks like this is going to be a house. So I don't need to pull that out. I would just scroll down here and put this into homes. So here's some gotchas that I received from um, a very close friend. So these kinds of things, these are fun add-ons as well. Okay, so I'm going to put those in here. And then this looks like a Halloween cocktail. This is a holdable, so that would be food and drink. And then that would be the holiday section. So as you can see, I don't have too much in the holiday section. So I'm just going to drag that in there. Eventually, if this folder gets out of control, then I'll section it off into Christmas, Thanksgiving, fall, and things like that. Okay. So this is, looks like these are candy apples, a broomstick. Um, so this also, let's just go ahead and see if that's a holdable. Okay. So yes. Oh my gosh. She almost died putting that thing in her mouth. Okay, and then we have a broomstick. Oh, isn't that cute? I didn't even know I had that. Okay. All right, so we're going to take that off, and that's going to be fun attachment. So that's also going to go in the Halloween section for holiday. Okay. Um, Halloween present bought and the coffee. I don't know what these are. Let's see what this is. Oh, this is decor. All right, hold on. Let's zoom out. Oh, okay. So it, oh, this is, okay. Yeah. So this, all right. So those, that's going to be furniture. Okay. So we're going to go back down to our furniture folder and here's our holiday section. And then we're going to put that into the Halloween. Okay. Uh, this starry witch. Okay, so this looks like a witch hat. Let's just make sure this is unpacked. Okay, attach that. So this would go into the costume section. And like I said, this needs to be uh, organized. So since I need to know what this is and the folder does not tell me, I'm going to put witch hat. Okay, and then I'm going to throw that in the costume section. Well, actually, look, here's the Halloween. So where'd that go? Mm -hmm. You guys see it? The chat. Okay, here it is. So then see if I hadn't have renamed that, we never would have found that in here. Okay. 
then we're going to close that up all right so now we have here some goggles so that's going to be costume accessories i'm going to actually put that into the costume accessory section yeah we'll probably revisit the costume section so i can show you guys how to set that up because i know a lot of you wear a lot of um costumes when you go to events and when you want to dress up and when it's the holiday season this is when your costumes come in handy the most so eventually i'll definitely take you guys on a tour of this section all you know nice and neat or we'll go through it together just let me know which one you want to do okay so this here says a bodysuit and it is for Cupra. So this I'm not going to try on. It says a bodysuit. And in my wardrobe section, um, I do have a jumpsuit and bodysuit folder. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag that there. Okay. Um, these, I don't know what this is. So it says, let's see what this is. Oh, it's an actual pumpkin outfit. Okay, so this again, <laughs> looks like I have two. This would be the costume section Halloween. So let's close that up. Let's go down to the costume section and then I'm gonna throw these in here. So yeah, we definitely will have to revisit the costume section. Holiday season is kind of starting to be over with as far as December goes and then we'll be back in January so probably in January is when I'll organize this folder just so I'm prepared for when like Valentine's Day comes up you know the next season so um I did take those out of there so for that okay this is a face mask this <laughs> this is a fun add-on because this is the uh Let me show you guys what this one looks like. Okay, so this is a face mask where you put on the cucumber eyes. So this is the whole mask and then uh, this the cucumbers and just the top part. Okay, so that would be in the fun add-ons. Because it's a wearable. That I'll also have to organize. So this says Apple Fall New York Studio Apartment box so I don't know if this is unpacked or not so I'm gonna go down here to the homes and for this I eventually will section this off as well so I'll eventually have a folder that says guy boxes um, big homes small homes and then a mid-size homes also a beach houses these folders will differ upon everybody depending on what kind of houses you buy some people like log cabins some people like modern homes contemporary these you can put whatever you want here um, but you definitely want to have a separate skybox because I do buy skyboxes and they're just mixed in here and I need to put them where they go. If you buy like a lot of one creator, like I said, you're going to make a folder that's with the one, two, three, and we'll just go ahead and put funky junk. Okay, and then we'll just go ahead and grab all of that creator and we'll put that in there. So see that already got it a little smaller. Um, I like Trump Home, so I'll probably make a folder for that because I do in the future plan on buying a whole bunch more of those. So I don't know if this is unpacked, so I'm going to actually put it on. Okay, so no, it isn't. Okay, so in this, all of this needs organizing. These are things that more than likely are either not unpacked or they are and I need to put them where they go. Okay, so we'll copy that, delete this. Remember, go back all the way to the box in your inventory and delete it, okay? So then we're gonna go to the recent tab because we just unboxed that, okay? So that's a studio apartment. 
and I'm just gonna put this into the home section because it doesn't have you know I haven't pulled it out so I don't know if it's a small if it's a skybox you know mid-size I'll have to pull that out eventually let's go back over to our inventory okay this is an apple ball old canvas trunk and it says box let's take a look and see okay so it is in a box so um we'll take this out and open it up copy it delete that let's scroll up and delete our box out of our closet go to the recent tab we just got this here so this is a um this is a decor item okay so we're gonna go ahead and go to the furniture section and then decor we have like I told you different subfolders for that so I'm actually gonna drag this out so we can see what this looks like and it looks exactly like what it says an old canvas trunk so for me that's something that would be in the bedroom so I'm going to go here and see it already has in there a trunk clutter as well so that matches all right let's go back over to the inventory section um this is a halloween cake and pumpkin pal let's see what this is it's a halloween cupcake okay so more holdables so we'll go to food and drink for add-on components and that's a holiday item so i'm going to go ahead and throw that in there okay um that's a gift card um usually those I actually just leave them because eventually I'll make a folder in my inventory that says gift cards and then I'll drag that into there depending on how many gift cards I have um, when I don't have any gift cards there is not a folder in my inventory that says it it's just deleted and then when I have a whole bunch of them I drag them all there okay so this shows here this is a couch so we'll go ahead and open the furniture so it's just a couch so I'm going to go to living room so I have this same living room and then I have living room says because these are whole entire living rooms this is like a couch a sofa um, a love seat a chair the side tables um, the coffee table all that's together things that are not a whole complete entire set I put here so I'm gonna put this couch in here and then we're gonna close that up so now we're on to these says plain shorts gray um, so since this folder is kind of old and I've gotten these things that gives as you can see there's no Cobra in here so I'm actually just gonna delete that because that just defeats the purpose of trying to even put on a whole nother body and try it on okay um, this is sparkling I think this is champagne that's blood what does it say it's worn worn on left hand so we can't see it so let's see let's go ahead and zoom in here so yeah it's um let's see oh okay there we go oh so it explodes blood everywhere just what we want <laughs> I mean I'm okay with it for Halloween I don't know about you guys so we're gonna detach that since that is a holdable um, we can either put that in the food and drink section or we could actually put it on fun things because it does have a fun aspect to it but I put most of the drinks and things that I can wear here so this one I'm going to put into the holiday section and that'll be broken down into more subfolders eventually when that gets out of control okay uh, this is a flyer. oh okay so this as well would be for me this is a vehicle it's something I can ride so I'm going to grab that and put that in vehicles and like I said this needs to be put into subfolders I need to put all this where it goes and then actually I'm just gonna go ahead and make the holiday folder now 
because I think there's something else in here that I can write on that needs to be in this folder and it's not. Okay, so we'll go ahead and remove that. Put that in the holiday. Hey. Okay. Whoa. So <laughs> I went to um what is this? There was a sim that I went to and I clicked on grab all of their gifts that they had ever given in the whole entire time that they had ever been in Second Life. This folder by itself has 159 items. This may be hard for a lot of you to do, but I seriously do not want to organize this folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename this folder. I'm still going to leave this as DRD gifts for 2016 to 2020. But I'm going to put have not organized or actually I'm going to put have not organized or inspected. I'm going to go back to this front part and I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. That's going to pop it up to the top of this needs organizing folder. But what I'm going to do is actually drag this one all the way out into the inventory so that it appears here. The reason I'm putting this here is because at some point in my second life, I need to know that this big folder needs to be organized and I need to stop procrastinating. So if I have a lazy day, a day where I'm not doing anything or I want to be super productive, I will go through, put all of this on, drag it out and put it where it needs to go. So I can kind of see what these things are is a lot of decor. So here's doormats. Um, yard signs look there's a yard sign that says fix it Jesus so I don't want to totally delete this folder there's things in here that I would like to look at okay look so see look we have ornaments in here this could come in handy for Christmas and so since I'm looking here I know that I can kind of throw this folder down when I'm de decorating and maybe I can get a couple things out of here that I want so I won't throw it all away but I also won't organize it and it's okay if you have a crazy folder that you're not ready to organize yet, that's totally fine. You know, we all get tired. You know, we all get kind of lazy with our inventory. And this is my moment where I'm lazy because that's a lot. And I don't know what any of this is. I don't want to put it all on and waste you guys time. I want you to kind of get the gist of how my inventory is organized and how you can organize yours. Okay. So again, there's another one. So this one says gifts 2020 to current. So for me, I'm just going to eliminate this whole entire um, subfolder and I'm just going to drag this into here. Okay. And then I'll just delete that. So now that's a folder that I know I'm eventually going to have to go through at some point and see what's in there. Okay. So this looks like a decor jack-o'-lantern gift. So we're going to just go ahead to furniture and we're going to put this into holiday and Halloween. Okay. Um, this is a course set. Okay. So see, it has again, our body's not in here. So I'm going to delete that. Here's another hat. So this will go into the Halloween section for the costumes. Um, this looks like this is a heart necklace. Um, it's up to you if you want to try things on or not. Um, I usually don't try it on because eventually I will try it on when I'm looking for a necklace to wear. And then when I figure out, hey, I don't want that, I'll just go back and delete it. So let's just say, you know, I'm like, oh, I need a necklace to wear. And I go to the jewelry section and I put this on. Where is it? Okay, so it says worn on spine. So it's here somewhere. We just can't see it. Okay, so it's inside of uh inside our body. So I can kind of take a look and see. Okay, so it's underneath the top. So let me see if I can take let me take that top off. 
me put this back. Okay, so I'll go to Warren. And we know that we're wearing the Divine set. So I'm going to take that top off. We still have our Alpha on, so we're fine. And here's the necklace. So I'm going to put her AO back on and take a look-see. So I kind of don't like how the necklace is sitting. Let's go back to the inventory. And it looks like it's no modify, so I won't be able to move that around. So I'm actually not going to keep that. I'm going to delete it. Okay. I have no idea what this is. But I know it's for Halloween because it says cool. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so that's going to be a umbrella. So here's where things kind of get kind of sketchy. It's a holdable umbrella, but it's also Halloween. Let's take a look. So this has the potential to go with a Halloween outfit or it's just a costume accessory. For me, that's just going to be a costume accessory. So I'm going to go to the costume section and then I'm going to go ahead and just literally drag this into the accessories in here. Okay, we'll remove that. Okay. And then uh, a clown mask, a clown mask. So again, um, at costume accessories um, we have some eyes so let's go ahead and put this one and again so there's no nothing to tell me here what this is so I'm gonna rename it and I'm gonna put clown mask okay and for me I'm going to put that in Halloween Wait, that's the wrong one. It's costume accessories. Clown mask. Here we go. There we go. Okay. So now we can kind of divert a little bit and talk about my system folders and how I utilize them. So in my body parts, that's literally what it is. It's going to be my body, my head, my eyes, my eyebrow shapes, my ears. Um, things that are essential attachments to my body. Majority of my um, flappers, um, my enhancers, they're all in here. So I can find them easily because having them in the front of the inventory, you'll never find it. So things that you want to attach to yourself with your body parts, they're going to be here. So all of my shapes are in here my ears, eyebrow shapes, and then all of my eyes are here. So I'm going to drag these glam eyes over and those are in there. So certain hoods that I use for my body, um, I'm going to definitely put in here as well. So see my ankle fix is here. Um, this is usually the eyebrow shape that I have on, but I'm now wearing a different one. So I'm going to actually go to eyebrow shape to see what I'm wearing. So this is the one I'm wearing now. So I'm going to drag that one here and I'm going to put this one back. These are also no longer the eyes I wear. So I'm going to look for the eyes that I usually wear and actually they're already here. So these right here are the eyes that let's just say I do. Let's do an example. Let's say I'm dressing up for some reason and I need to different kind of eyes on so I'll switch this where are they hold on I don't know where they are hmm they might be off screen hold on they are okay you drag them on screen put that back hold on, hold on. drag that over quite a bit okay okay so let's just say I'm dressing up for Halloween and I want to change my eyes to something different. So I click these. Okay. Let's take that off. And then I switch a whole entire outfit back and I'm like, oh my God, where are my eyes that I was usually wearing? So I can close that up. 
So the main body parts that I'm always wearing is going to be these brows and these eyes. These are my system layer eyes. These can be whatever you want. Right now, I have no idea what system layer eyes I'm wearing. Um, I can find them if I want to, but for purposes of time, these are the eyes that I'm always wearing with my avatar that I redid. Okay. So that's going to be these eyes right here. And I'm always wearing the left one. It's going to ask me which eyes. I put both. And we're back to the color I originally had. So an easy rule of thumb is something that you always have on your body. If you're in Firestorm, I believe you have a favorites folder. You can throw those into there. But if you're on Black Dragon, um, I do recommend creating your own favorites folder in your inventory or putting what you're always wearing as far as body parts out of the main folders so i drug this hud out of here because if we go to eyes this is actually here so see these are the eyes so i could actually put these on if i wanted to and they're underneath so now i'm no longer wearing the madam nor lilith eyes so I'm actually going to put those back where are these eyes? I think these are maybe this the boulder. I don't know. Yeah. And then I'm going to grab these eyes and put them out here. So my system layer eyes are always going to be this. And this is what I'm currently wearing as far as my eyes for the redo of my shape. Okay. So, um... We're making really good progress with this knees organization folder, but I do want to switch over to something else because I think you guys have the gist of what's going on in this folder. And also anytime I buy something and I unpack it and I really don't have time to put it on or put it where it goes, after I unpack it, I drag it into this folder. So that's what I'm gonna show you right now. So we're gonna go to my objects folder. So as you can see, I've been buying things and usually there's nothing underneath this in my objects folder. It's rare that I have any just boxes out here. You want to eliminate having boxes in your objects folder because it's going to drive you crazy. Because it's that, look at this, this is a lot, lot of boxes, okay? This is from 50 Linden Friday from about two weeks ago and I, um, these, I've actually unpacked these and put them out so they just haven't gone where they're supposed to go so let's scroll up to the top so yesterday I went to junk food and um, I got a couple things and then also the midnight madness came through so I accepted them and here we are okay so we're gonna because now things need to be drug out from the inventory so I'm going to make sure though, I'm going to add this on. Okay. And that's unpacked, detach, delete. So when you get things, you're going to want to do this for literally everything in your inventory. When you have all of these boxes, so unpack everything. I know your inventory is going to look crazy, but I promise you, you're going to want to unpack every single box so that your inventory is not looking ridiculous and delete the boxes. This, I'm going to leave that there because this is actually the box for my food. And then see all of this. All of this is from the BU gift box that I got. So I'm actually going to go ahead and go up here to BU. And this says frozen BU poppers for stats. So all of this stuff ex um, would be considered BU poppers that get my stats up. So I'm gonna put this here. And then since this is a hairbrush, I'm gonna put this one in the toiletry section, okay? So even though all of that is sectioned off like that, I know what's in my inventory. So let's just say I was funky and I, my hygiene was like at a two on BU and I really, really, really needed to boost it up real fast. So since I know what's in my BU folder, I can either go here, go to my toiletries, use the soap, use the hairbrush, or 
if I just want to search it, then I would just put in brush. And I know at the bottom right here is the BU toiletries because it's a Z folder. Okay, so there's no crazy scrolling. And then, you know, I have other things in here that say brush, but since my stuff is in subfolders, it's easy to see where it's located. Okay, we're gonna close that up. Let's go ahead and empty our trash. Okay, um, this is a Ansu home. I literally do not know when I got that. So I'm going to add it to see, okay. There we go. I've unpacked that. I'm going to go ahead and detach that. Delete that box. This is my land security orb. This actually needs to go back into the box it came out of because when I took it from my land, it ended up in my objects folder. And that's something else you guys got to watch out for. No copy items. Sometimes they won't go back to their original box. They'll go into your objects folder and you'll accidentally delete them because you think that you have them in your inventory. So be careful on that note as well. So I'm going to put in land let me put an orb i might have deleted the box too so that's another reason why okay but as you can see down here in landscaping it says land security orb and the actual prim object is not in here so i'm going to take this and drag it over and bam it's now where it's supposed to be so as you can see the orb is back in here with all of the other items for that folder okay all right, so we're going to close that up because like I said, this is not the one we're dragging from. This is the one we're dragging to. So if you look, all of the stuff that I've unpacked, like I said, it's starting right here underneath my RLV folder because that's my last hashtag. So anything else that I've unpacked, it goes on here. I could make these hashtags, but I want these to stay at the bottom. Okay. So we'll go back over here. So this looks like an office fan. Let's see. And actually, I took this from another home. So <laughs> when I was taking the house down, I actually took pieces of the house into my inventory so that I could put it in another home. That's another thing you guys can do. If you have houses that are modifiable and you can actually take pieces of that home, like the furniture, the ceiling fan pieces of the kitchen and you want to customize your home to the max do it so since i took that fan it's a ceiling fan i'm going to actually go to the furniture section and i'm going to go to decor and i'm actually going to just throw that in there because the ceiling fan can go in multiple rooms okay so now i have a copyable ceiling fan that I can just throw out into any house that I want to, and I never have to res that other house if I don't wanna. Okay, I'm gonna close that up. Okay, this right here is some BU food. So we're gonna go down to BU, and we're going to put this in the BU food section. Okay, this is also BU food, so we're gonna put the martini into the food section. Let me actually open that up and see what that's looking like. Okay, so there are subfolders here. So these wheat bagels, that's going to go in breakfast. The martini is going to go in drinks. And then um, I do have some canned clams, but that needs to go into my asset. So that's why that's sitting out there. So I'll know that. So I don't spend unwisely at the store when I'm about to cook some food. Okay, this also is BU. So we're going to go back. It's food. We're going to put that in the drinks folder. Looks like I have some pumpkin soup. So we're gonna put that in the soups folder. Okay, and then also here we go. Here's another ceiling fan. Okay, we're gonna go back to furniture, go to decor, and then just drag that fan over here. Okay. Okay, looks like there is some more BU food. And that is a pie. So then we're going to put that into the dessert section. Okay. Um, this says a small, okay, what do we have? Granola cider. Um, let me actually add that and see if that's holdable. Yes, it is. Okay. So we're going to detach that. And we're going to go up here to, let's close the furniture. And then components, food, and drink. And we're going to drag that granola cider into the drink section. OK, 
okay um i have looks like some apples some beer lasagna pizza so this is food so as you can see the food section is a little out of control as well i have some salmon some gouda venison um chicken nuggets twix but that is where i'm gonna throw these items in as far as for the food and drink okay um this is a wearable wheelchair so that's going to be in the attachment section um that was actually given to me so we could you know um ride around at one of the events close that um we're not going to talk about that one i'm just going to put that into the food and drink section Oops. um this is a demo i don't even remember what this demo is for but i'm going to go ahead and throw this one into demos may want to purchase okay so i kept that obviously for a reason um i have some beet water i'm actually going to throw that one out this is the water that i showed you guys from the composter when i pulled out the five so i'm actually going to click that and store it into my assets and then that will disappear okay um this is a raffle contest i do believe i missed that so i'm going to delete it um, this is the refrigerator that I told you guys that they sent to me while I was <laughs> recording that day. So as far as that, that's going to go into the BU furniture. Okay. And then I want to see if this is the globe. Okay, so yes, these are the actual globes. So then we'll go to the furniture section. And then that's going to be decor and holiday. And um, like I said, eventually I will section that off into different holidays for decor. Okay. Okay. And as you can see, our objects folder is almost finished. Um, this right here are my gotchas for my closet. So this is the garbagio. So I'm going to go to my furniture section again. And I do have a furniture section just for when I'm doing my closet. So I'm going to throw these into the closet section. Um, let's see what do we got. Okay, this tic-tac-toe, this is a game. So I'm going to put in gaming experiences and fun. This can actually be played. Um, this is a BU prescription. Um, imposter gotcha. Okay, so that's going to be another one of those um, fun things. So I put the other imposter stuff in here, I believe. So I'm going to put that one in here as well. <laughs> All right, so this one says a small maple tree set. Um, let me actually search for that one. If you're unsure if you've unpacked something, you can always type it in. So as you can see, I've already unpacked that. So we're going to delete it. Okay. All right. And then we're going to close all the folders again. Okay. Um, this is my BU medical prescription. So I'll just actually just drop that in the BU folder. Uh, this says four plan tablet typewriter. Uh, let me see. Let's go ahead and add that. It looks like it's in a box. Just wait. Okay. Yep. It was in a box. So we'll go ahead and unpack that, detach it, make sure you delete that. Um, this looks like a Christmas stocking. Okay. So this is a baby Yoda Christmas stocking. That's already unpacked. We're going to go to furniture. We're going to go to holidays and we're going to just put that into Christmas. So see, I only have a couple things here for the holidays, but remember we have this big, huge folder of things that have Christmas items in there as well. Okay. Um, so this is an attachable and this is for kind of like expanding your voice so that i'm actually going to leave in here um that i believe is a drink this is furniture for holidays it's a poinsettia this one i've actually put out so that's why i know that that's what that is holidays 
Christmas, okay? Again, here we have another gift card. So it looks like I'm going to have to make a gift card folder. So for that, I'm actually gonna make the gift card folder in the object folder. And I'm literally just gonna put gift cards in here, okay? So I'm gonna drag this gift card up here. And then I'm gonna search for the other one. So see, there's this Bumblebee gift card, okay? So I can actually just throw that up there. Okay. Alrighty. So let's take a look, see, and see what else we have here going on. All right, so continuing on, um, fertilizer, that's also a BU item so we're just going to go ahead and throw that in there um this is a casper bin that you can sit out in the home so that's actually furniture so for that it really doesn't have a spot so i'm just going to throw that in here but i don't have too many box things down here for an item so i'm going to put that there i don't know what this is but this what is this? Um, wait for that to load because I don't remember getting this. Oh, wow. Um, hmm. Oh, so this is a fun wearable. So, <laughs> that's cute. I'm going to throw that into the add on components and eventually. I will organize this. So there will be another day where we'll do the, you know, the food and drinks add-on components and the costumes more than likely. So here we are, we have another gift card. So we're gonna go throw that in there. Okay. And then um, this is a boxed alpha set that I have for people who ask me for the alphas so inside of here all the alphas that you saw inside of this you can't give more than i think it's like 32 items in one go so i've compiled all of this into this box so i just pass that when people you know want alphas instead of making them go all the way to marketplace and get the lbd ones for linden um it, it doesn't bother me um the city spectacular 2020 res i don't know what that is and i'm really afraid to res it so i'm actually going to wear it okay so as you can see here the objects folder has significantly reduced okay let's go ahead and empty out our trash again and so uh again i have no idea what this is let's see oh what is this? Okay, I don't know, but I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. It's okay. I don't want it. Okay, so this looks like a parachute. This is a chat extender, a personal script counter, some dances, a pro boxing system, um, a cam sink, and then these are drinks that are a whole entire box. Okay, so those are like passables for me. Okay, so let's close the object folder up. And um, we've done the object folder. And so now all of that stuff that we unpacked from the object folder, like I said, it's here. So it looks like it's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven things. So it's not a lot. So we'll go ahead and put these where they go. So the Ansu house, we'll go ahead and drag that over to homes. And then this is all junk food things. So but we have to be careful because the only thing that's food is these noodles and then the popcorn. So we'll go back over to our add on components for food and drinks. We'll put the food down. Like I said, see, here's all junk food food. So I'll grab both of these and throw them into the food section. And eventually subfolders will be created. Like I showed you guys before, junk food will get its own 
folder it looks like hangry will also get its own folder and then the other ones will be in here and this stuff down at the bottom i'll probably just make a single food folder and throw all of that in there okay. all right so this is also from junk food uh this tv but it's just for decor so it doesn't it's not a workable tv okay so we've gotten quite a bit done um more than likely i am nearing the end uh we have here a split typewriter that we've unpacked before so that is decor so we'll go over here to the furniture folder and we'll go to decor and i consider that clutter okay so i'll put that in the clutter section and then uh, this junk food tv i will still put it into the um i don't have a tv folder it's somewhere actually let me scroll down because we're in decor here we are tvs so we'll throw that in there and then there's a vending machine there's really not a folder for anything like that um you can put it in decor if you prefer but i'm literally just going to throw that in here until i reorganize this whole entire folder so here we are down here we've got our rov there's nothing underneath it our regular marketplace listing folder and then my z folders so this is where i would pretty much stop as far as organizing my inventory because we are pretty finished um the only thing like i said before that we would be concentrating on at some other time frame would be this drd gifts which is a massive amount of things that i've picked up for some odd reason and thrown into my inventory okay so the inventory has been organized um there's really nothing else in here and as you can see my scroll bar is not long we've shortened it quite a bit and the only thing to concentrate on at some point in time is all of these drd gifts that i've gotten um, a lot of this is decor um see in here there's tanks and things like that but there's no cupra so i could just go through here and delete you know what i don't need a lot of this is old so um if it's clothing i more than likely will just go ahead and delete it and then i'll put all of this let's see all of this is christmas stuff so i would just literally grab all of this and throw it into the christmas section of the furniture folder but other than that this is a great stopping point for my inventory i do feel quite accomplished everything in my objects folder has been unpacked there's nothing in here to unpack anymore and these are just some random things that i keep in my objects folder to look for quickly okay um i will expand more at a later date on the body parts folder my animations um how i section out my landmarks because i have gained quite a few recently so i'll go over how to do that as well in another video and then how i do my note cards okay so uh, these are how i've sectioned off the landmarks in the anithium section and then you know as far as shoes like i said you're just gonna want to put subfolders subfolders are your friend they help quite a bit Okay, so whenever you're looking for something, it makes it a lot easier because even if you can't find it, you'll know, hey, I'm looking for a short hair. So you'll go to your hair section, go to the short one, and then they're all in. Even if it's not a specific hairstyle that you have lost or think you can't find, you can pretty much go through the short hairstyles. And this goes with trying your things on and putting them where they go. So if your inventory scroll bar is out of control, if you are going to spend some time trying on things in your inventory because i know some of you have things that are super super old and you don't remember what they look like so you are going to have to invest some time in you know organizing your inventory all right everybody so we are definitely done with the inventory organization for today um i know it's a very lengthy video um but I did want to get you started on the right foot. I wanted to explain the hashtags. I wanted to explain the exclamation points, you know, and explain how my inventory is set up. Your inventory, 
underneath the trash is literally a world of alphabetical order. Okay. Um, can I rename this? Because this is annoying me. So see how the Firestorm and ROV folder are down here as well? It's because they're hashtagged. So the ROV has to stay a hashtag like that. And I kind of think the Firestorm one does too. So, but it annoys me either way. It really annoys me. And I kind of just want to delete them both, but I'm not going to do that. But as you can see here, it's alphabetized because I have the hashtags. If there's a number, it's going to pop up first and then your alphabet's going to pop up. Okay, so I actually want this folder since I know all of this needs organizing as well. These things I more than likely need to unpack. I don't know for sure. Let me actually add one on and see. Okay, so no, these things are out and about. So, oh, that's cute. Okay, so all of this is unpacked items. So to be totally honest, depending on if all of this is yeah all of this is unpacked so this will actually become a folder for apple fall into the furniture section so what i'm not gonna touch that it says apple fall but planner so we're not doing that um this is a colander let's see yeah everything is out so i'm actually going to go ahead and go down to the furniture folder and as you can see here i'm going to put new folder and i want this one at the top two three uh, apple fall and the same things apply to your inventory as you know like a document in your computer so I'm gonna actually grab all of this and I'm gonna right click I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna right click and paste it so it deleted from this all of a sudden. Look at look at how short this is now. All of that Apple Fall stuff went into that folder. So now this is really, really not that much to organize once I get things started. So I'll eventually organize that folder, but I got a little bit of that out the way. But um, I do inventory organization. So if you would like, I will get your folder creation started. I would make a whole entire set of folders for you and I would pass them to you and then you would put them in your inventory and then you would just start the dragging process. So, you know, you would just, um, let's see. Hold on, let me add another window. So I would send you your folders and then you would drag your folders into your inventory and you know they would have the drop downs for you in your you know wardrobe folder and things like that so i create you just some basic folders so i would put you the dresses the holiday intimates jackets jeans i would just start you off because i want you to get accustomed to your drop down folders you know dragging things over as soon as you unpack them and things like that so let's do a little summary so one you want to always unpack everything you get immediately and delete the box two you want to create folders that you don't have and your subfolders okay three always empty your trash empty your trash all the time you know check it things like that same thing with your lost and found there's rarely anything in my lost and found ever because you know when i move i pick up all of my things and i throw them away i don't ever get anything auto returned to me because i've seen some lost and found folders and i'm actually clueless and that's why i don't do lost and found folders when i organize inventories because i'm scared of deleting something that's no copy um and then another thing if you have too much going on you can literally make this folder in your inventory literally today you can put your put about seven exclamation points right out all of this needs organizing and drag every single thing that you need to organize from your inventory into this folder that will already take away so much of your scroll bar it'll give you a little sigh of relief even though when you pull this open and you have that you won't see that on your main inventory 
so i'm gonna put my contact details in the description and if you guys want me to send you the basis of the folder creation um i'm gonna put like a little template that i need you guys to fill out so that i'll know what body you're wearing and a couple other things about your inventory but other than that um that's how i organize my inventory um i usually organize my inventory right when i get a whole bunch of things like when i do a hunt or when i do an event or when i do have a shopping haul but as you can see sometimes it does get out of control and i don't feel good when i can't find things in my inventory and that's how i was starting to feel but now this is my main inventory scroll bar and of course, like I said, all of my drop downs are here and everything for my body is here. All of my food and drink has been put where it's supposed to go and all of the furniture has been sectioned out. So until next time, I will see you guys later. Love y'all.